Hi, my name is Melissa. I'm a nurse in 801, and I'm going to be going over the cardio save, which we are switching over from for our old balloon pump. So first, I'm going to start out with just the power button, um, which right here is the handle. It's going to be right under here. You just hold it until you hear the beep, and it'll turn on. So while that's getting started, I'm going to go ahead and go over all of the cords, and it is um, it's color coordinated, which is color coordinated, which is very nice. So um, this is going to be your ECG monitoring. It's going to go plug into your green, and then obviously this goes to the patient. Um, and then your fiber optic sensor is going to this little flap right here. So just move that over and plug that in. And then as well as your helium, just like the other one, goes through that little hole and you plug it in right there. And then also your um, pressure tubing cord is going to go there as well. Um, and then the cord for you to be able to hook up to your monitor. It's going to be secured there, so don't try to take these off, and then this will go to your monitor. And then also, if you're um, getting any alarms um, with your optical sensor, if it just keeps going off, um, you would go ahead and unplug your, your optic cord right here, and then that's what you're gonna use your pressure um, tubing, and you're gonna zero it. So then you would come over here to your screen, um, go ahead and turn open to air like you would normally zero. Hold for two seconds right here where your zero pressure, and that's going to go ahead and zero your line for you. All right, so now we're going to go over the screens on the balloon pump. So the top screen looks very similar to the old one. Uh, one of the differences is now your alarms or any notifications are going to be down here on the bottom. So whenever you get an alarm, you can go down here and hit pause audio and that'll silence that alarm until you figure out what's going on, which if you go here to help available, you can drill into whatever is alarming and you can go through and see what kind of troubleshooting that you need to do. And then exit back. And then um, over here is going to be showing that you're plugged into the wall. And if you're not plugged into the wall, it'll show how much battery life you have, as well as your helium level on there as well. Um, so down here on this bottom screen, it looks very similar to the original balloon pump, which is now it's touch screen. So up on the top, you have your audio, auto, semi-auto. Um, we have our calibrate pressure. So if you were going to be switching over to your art line and needing to zero, when you pull out your fiber optic cable down here, it'll automatically pull up your zero pressure. So then you hold that for two seconds and you can zero your line. Then you have your standby and start. Um, as well as down here you have trigger sources and you can go through and hit, uh, pick each one of those or you can go down here and hit open menu and it'll pull all of them up so that it looks very similar to the balloon pump that we're used to. Uh, you've got trigger sources, balloon pump frequency, augmentation, and timing. Um, then over here you've got your preferences. You can go into printer if you wanted it to do a time to print where it does it every four hours or whatever your unit requires you can do that. You can go to pump options, and uh, when you're needing to plug in your ethernet cable, you go to network connections, you hit the HISCIS, and then when it's plugged in and it's getting the network is connected, then you'll get two green dots over here. Uh, you can also hit right here, be your reference line, if you're needing to look at your waveform. You can also do freeze display, if you're wanting to check the timing, that way your balloon pump is still going, and unfreeze. Your augmentation alarm, if you're needing to adjust that, you can do so there. And then if you needed to print a strip right away, you can print here. And it's going to print up here in the front rather than on the side like the other one. Now the last thing I'll show you on the screen is over here you have your lock screen. And if you wanted to lock it, you can hold it for two seconds. I'll lock the screen. You just hit unlock to unlock it. And then after one minute, it'll... Uh, lock by itself. Alright, so now I'm going to show you where the helium tank is stored on this one. So you can see over here on the side, it says helium, and there's the tank. So all you do is you pull the sides over here, and then it slides out, and it's sitting in there on the side. So with this same way you change out your other one, just now it's on its side. So first you're going to close off the tank. Alrighty, daddy, left to Lucy. Open it up. And then you can pull your tank out. There is a, a little washer in here. If that happens to fall out and roll away, there's extras over here. So then you would go ahead and put your new tank back in. Secure it down. And open it up. 
open it up a quarter of the way, and then this fits right in here. Slide that in. Put that back on. And then it'll indicate up here that your helium tank is back on. Okay, so I'm going to go over a little bit of the troubleshooting that we talked about earlier. So with a lot of our balloon pumps being placed subclavian um, now, there's um, if you look closely, there is a fiber optic um, inside. It's very tiny. It's like the size of a hair. Um, so that um, being placed that way, it can get kinked um, or damaged. And so that's when we would want to switch over um, to using our pressure line. Um, so when I showed you earlier that you would put this in, this isn't going to always be plugged in, um, only when you're going to want to switch over to that line. So you plug this in, unplug your fiber optic, and that's when that zero pressure would show up. Um, so that's um, the reason why we're having those issues. Um, but uh, if you have any is other issues with that or any other sorts of alarms that you can't quite figure out, there's a number on the machine as well that you can call anytime. All right, one more thing I'm going to show you is this does have a transport mode. Um, so when you're com they're coming in from the helicopter or the ambulances, um, you might see it come in this way. So what's going to happen, there's a lever down here, and this whole thing goes out in order to transfer easier. Um, when we're transferring in the hospital to go to CT or anything like that, we're not going to be taking this out. We will take the whole monitor. Um, but just in case this does happen, you will have an alarm. Um, if you're, you'll see the battery, um, and if you're plugged into the wall, and this happens to kind of be loose, you will still see just on battery mode. So what you want to do is push it all the way in, and then it would indicate that you're plugged into the wall, which we're not right now. Um, the other thing also is um, if transport comes in and they say that they want to just go ahead and uh, switch out these monitors. We are not going to do that. We're going to switch everything over. We want to keep our um, equipment with its their, the serial numbers and everything match up. So we want to keep everything together. So don't let them take our, our equipment. <laughs> That's all.